This episode brought to you by Echo Damani, Wines of Italy. To view the recipes featured in this podcast, please visit echodamani.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to do our final three of the wine cocktails. Now, I was supposed to have Hello Vino here for this one, but when we were looking for the for the Chianti, for the Echo Demani Chianti, there just there was none <laughs> around. It was sold out everywhere. Must have been some sort of holiday, I don't know. But uh, so what we decided to do is we did the last two, and this one I'm soloing. So hopefully I, I get it all right. What I wanted to do is I always say we should test the the liquids before making the cocktail. So I, I brought up a little wine glass. So I wanted to taste it. Now I, I taste chocolate in here. Um, so what we have is a Chianti, an Echo Demani Chianti red wine. We're going to make a wine cocktail. It's going to be called the Echo Chocolato. And it's going to have chocolate. It's going to have whipped cream. It's going to have muddled uh, raspberries. Um, we're we're going to use... A little piece of chocolate here to we're gonna shave some chocolate off with a, a zester because it, it was seemed like a good idea and so it'll be a shake put into a, a cocktail glass and we're done so let's give that a try I got my charm on there it's good it's gonna be what you're gonna notice right off from the wine itself is just a little dry at the end so if you're expecting a super duper sweet cho- chocolate, like don't think martini, chocolate martini. This is not chocolate martini. This is a little more elegant than chocolate martini, not as sweet. So keep that in mind as we go through this. And what we're going to do is muddle some raspberries, six to be exact. That's two, four, six. See, this is why I went to school. And we're going to muddle these up in a glass. Get the juices flowing through here. Smells like a nice ripe. These are pretty ripe. So if I don't make a mess, probably gonna end up making a mess. So there we go, we got our muddle. What we'll do now is we're gonna put in two and a half ounces of Chianti. Super messy, but we'll worry about that later. Go figure. There we are. That's two right there. We'll do a half. So we got the Echo Demani in there. Now we're going to do 2.5 teaspoons, two and a half teaspoons of like Choc- powdered chocolate, and this is a, a it, it's supposed to be a sweet, if you can get a sweet, that'd be great. I was not really able to find the definition of a sweet powdered chocolate versus a non-sweet, so I got what I could find, which is baking chocolate, it's a powdered baking chocolate, it's kind of like baking, I'm sure you can probably get something slightly better, I don't know, this is what I got. And well, that is our base. What we'll do is toss some ice in there. We're gonna shake it up good because we've got the chocolates in there. And this this goes at the end, our little chocolate surprise. I don't wanna make a mess. That would be bad. I'm making a mess. I'm breaking stuff too. There we go. I will eventually get some sort of table here to bang this down with, but we'll worry about that later. And you might be wondering, what is this for? Of course, it's not good if you don't put some some whipped cream. Now there's probably a better whipped cream. I'm kind of going a little little childish on this one, but I think it'll do just fine. So there will be a, a little graininess 
in the raspberries within the drink. So it, you're going to get some thick, some thick textures, and hopefully I don't make too much of a mess here. Uh, push the button. Wrap it all the way around, bring it right through the middle. Oh, I love whipped cream. That'll, that's awesome. And now, this is my own little trick here is we want to put chocolate shavings. It's kind of like the garnish on top of it all. So to do that, what I've decided I'm going to do is kind of zest it, if you will. I'll zest it right onto my drink. And it actually works fairly well. And it looks kind of elegant because you're getting, really, they look like little lemon twists. I just put them all over the top. There you go. Again, chocolate's awesome. So there's our drink. Let's see, can you see the chocolate twist? Probably not, but trust me, they're on there. And smells super chocolatey. Mmm, chocolate. So let's give that a try. Mmm. The initial attack is that of a raspberry. Now you kind of forget when you're looking at the chocolate that there's even raspberries in here. We muddled them, they're fresh, they're ripe, they're juicy, so you're getting that. The mid palate is really like a, a chocolate, kind of like a hot chocolate, but not hot, if that makes any sense. And there's a drier, more elegant, I don't know, dark chocolate, I guess you'd call it. Like a dark chocolate isn't very super sweet. You get that going on, and I think that comes from just the, the Chianti itself. Yeah, there is the undertone. The structure of this drink is definitely wine-based. When you, If you take them side by side, you can make, you can make that comparison. I should get that nice chocolate shavings on the top, which is cool. A little chocolate on the side. There you go. This is what I'd call... Fun to make, elegant. You can show this off to, you know, you have a couple friends over, play a little poker, drop a couple of these down, they'll be like, whoa, what am I getting some special treatment for? So I think that's a really neat idea. And thanks to Echo Damani for sponsoring this episode. I think most people by now have seen Echo Damani brands. If you've not picked one up, I challenge you to give it a try because what you're going to find is for the price point, You've got a, a high-class Italian wine with a lot of nuances and subtleties. And in like in this case, you get that little dryness. You get something that's it feels more real and earthy, and, and it's got a good body. So I, I, you should try this. And while you're there sipping on the wine, make yourself the Echo Chocolato and have a good night. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. We're teaching you how to drink.